Hello everyone, so this is a quick how-to video uh, showing how you can recover access to your Windows uh, on Windows 10. Uh, it also works on a few of the other Windows, most of the shortcuts that I'm going to show you. Uh, so my problem is, uh, imagine you have multiple settings. I'm going to show you my display settings on here. So I have three monitors, one, two, and three. You're watching the, th the first one right now. So we have stuff on three, and two is the projector that I use. So projector is most of the times uh, turned off. Uh, the three might be turned on or turned off. And the one is the one that I always turn on when I turn on the computer. And then as I move the windows around, uh, if I close them on another monitor, um, when I try to open them again, they're not here. So how can I access these windows? So there are several ways to, to do that. Uh, one of them, and the most easiest one, is to uh, close the... the uh, to disable the screen that is currently used. I'm going to give you an example. So right now, for example, I have this notepad. Imagine the notepad is up there where you can't see it. And now I want to access notepad and I can't because it's there and I can see it. Oh my God, how, what do I do? So I can go to these settings and to go to the settings, you right click, go display settings. So you show up here, uh, you select the screen and there's this option down here saying extend, you can disconnect. When you disconnect, it will tell you that uh, if you want to keep or remove, and I decided to keep, and now I have the window right here. So this is one way. Uh, the problem is you might not be wanting to disconnect and reconnect screens all the time. You know, at least I don't want to. I'm doing other stuff. I don't want to wait these seconds to wait. I just want access to the screen. So what do I do? I have this image up here. I don't know how to access it. I can go there with my mouse, but I don't know where I'm clicking because the projector is not turned on. So what do I do? I, I hold Control Shift and I right click here and there's this menu. And this menu tells you that you can uh, restore, minimize and stop. So right now my window over there is um, maximized. So I can't move it. If I do restore, it will be uh, no longer maximized and now if I redo control shift right click I can move it well I can't move it because I well I'll show you the trick um, so I dragged it back here but how do you click on it I'll do it again control shift move and your your mouse cursor is immediately on top of the of the bar you can see it here but if you click and drag it it, it takes a while for it to work. Sometimes it doesn't work all the time. I'm going to show it again. I'm going to do it fast and you'll see that it won't click. So move. Uh, well, I fucked up. Hold on a second. Move. I click and drag and it works. Actually, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes you have to click, wait a little bit and then click again and then you drag. Now it's working on uh, Notepad. That's great. Awesome. Uh, but sometimes it doesn't work. So be aware of that, that you need to click, wait a little, then click and drag. Uh, so, okay, so this is one way of doing it. Another way of doing it, just right click and do cascade windows. Boom. It cascades all the windows on the screen. It doesn't uh, work uh, for uh, things that are outside the screen. Like I'm going to show you, for example, that OBS is on the other screen and it didn't cascade into here. But it, it, this also can be useful, the cascade windows thing. I don't use it as much, but it's useful. Uh, then there's another issue. Uh, which is uh, screens that have a pop-up. So right now I can see if I click this, this is the KeyPass application. It click when I click it, it pops up something asking me for 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 something. And because it's popped up like that, the Control Shift right click doesn't work, so I can't move it. So what do I do? Either I can on some most of the pop-ups, if you press Escape on it. Uh, or enter it will go to a non screen. So this is the pop-up right here You can see it. It asks me for a password and it has the default stuff that I can open uh, If I click escape it opens up this window Which is now clickable on the bar down here. So this one I can do control shift move and then drag it back into my screen um, For some stuff it doesn't happen like for example for Skype Skype sometimes has a pop-up asking you to update if that updates window is somewhere else, you can't see it. It's impossible to see it. So, so yeah, bear that in mind. Uh, I had similar issues with uh, GIMP, for example. When I open GIMP, it would open on another window. It's loading, blah, blah, blah. Now, okay, so now where is GIMP? I have no clue. 
And I know that it's on the up screen because I already tested this before, but you have to do control shift move then click and drag it okay uh, so this is what I wanted to to show you how to recover your windows from uh, from uh, screens that are somewhere else um, you know, also one pro tip if you have multiple screens you should uh, configure them properly you can drag this around so that they are more accurately uh, positioned where they actually are so it's easier for you to navigate with your mouse around um, and yeah that's it that's all I wanted to share with you guys hope this was useful if anyone knows any other extra tips or programs that don't quite work well with these uh, tricks uh, do let me know post on the comments and all that jazz so bye bye take care